Good evening, everybody. This is Santero Balogun coming with another video. I wanted to do a video this evening to talk about money altars, the purpose of money altars, the implements that go on a money altar, the placement of money altars, and how to use and work with a money altar. And so here we go. First of all, if we are working a money altar, it's for the drawing of money in our lives or drawing of money in a business to have continuous flow of money coming to us or our establishment. But also, these altars can be set up if you are looking for a job. So if you are unemployed or if you are already employed but you're looking for a better job this is a great thing to do set up a money altar put your candles your herbs your implements that pertain to drawing money on there but you can also put the one ads on your money altar you can put your cv your resume on the money altar and a money altar is to be worked not so that you can just set it up light a candle and expect that the money will just come to you it's just like you want a job you have to go out and go on interviews you have to dress the part you have to have your resume prepared a cover letter so as a result you have to go to your money altar. You have to talk to your money altar. And I don't mean actually talking to the wood table or the, the, the candle, but what you're doing is talking in front of that altar to make sure that you're feeding it. You're saying, I believe that the money is going to come. I believe that I'm going to receive that job. I believe that the best job for me is going to be there. And then spend time at your money altar. Pray at your money altar. Visualize the kind of job that you want. And if you have a business, visualize the customers coming into your establishment, seeking you out for your goods, for what it is that you're providing services for so that the money will flow. And when you see that, when you see those things happening for you, that's when everything starts to take place. It's intention. So when you feed your intention by lighting the candles, and green pertains to money, so we light green candles. We get the herbs that represent money, the resins that represent money, the stones that represent money. And we place them on the altar. And when we're working with the money altar, the only things we place on the altar are those things that represent money. We're not putting anything for love. We're not putting anything else on there, just money. And here I wanted to give illustration of this little tin um, pail thing. I don't even know what to call it. It's, it's uh, something you can get from the hardware store. You can get it at a craft store. You can use this in the same manner you use a cauldron if you don't have one. So here I have herbs and I have things that pertain to drawing money for myself and or for a client. And again, if you don't have a cauldron and you need something that's going to amplify and hold what you're doing, especially if you have other people in your apartment or home, you can use these tin pails. And so here... I just wanted to give illustration and show that you put all of the things that pertain to what you're doing on your money altar. You have a horseshoe because a horseshoe is known for being good luck. And then there is actual two dollars on here. If you don't have that much money and you're trying to work, but you have a dollar, if you don't have a dollar, but you have some change. If you don't even have that and you have some um, uh, monopoly money, some play money, or if you can print some uh, money from the internet and place that on your altar, it's only the intention of what you're working. And so I have a mojo bag filled with herbs and filled with a request about why money is needed for someone and the appropriate herbs and resins. It's sitting next to a candle being charged so that that flame, the intention, as it burns, the candle burns, that's an offering, that that light is being lit for the purpose of drawing money. 
And I've done other videos about money drawing and who do money drawing powder. And I have the powder that I made here sitting on the altar. So as it sits there, it's also being reinfused. And then I can take some of that um, hoodoo powder out and sprinkle it on my altar when I'm praying, when I'm asking and petitioning spirit to help guide me and lead me. So if you're looking for that job, you know, look for a job in the field that you are able to work in. Pray and ask that you are led to the right job that will enhance you, that will be a blessing not just for today, but will be a blessing for tomorrow and for your future. You may only be on that job for a year, but you may gain five years worth of experience and knowledge. You may find a job where you can retire from, or if you're looking for a, a, a job that's an unconventional job because you're an artist, you're a writer, you sit at your money altar, altar and you meditate. You meditate on the things that you want, but you also ask for guidance. I think a lot of people forget that portion of it. We want to petition spirit. We want to go to our deities. We want to go to God, the divine, and say, I need money in my life. But we forget oftentimes about the guidance portion. Guide me to where I need to be. Help me so that that boss those people who are in HR interviewing see me as the right person for the job. Help me because when I'm going through the interview process, I may go to one establishment and be enamored with the look of it and think this is the best place for me, but it may not be. So help me in my selection so that I make the right selection. And that will give you everything you need to be successful. And victorious. Setting up a money altar is just that, a focus point, a place where you can utilize your relationship with the divine, your relationship with your deities, your relationship with your spirit guides, and be led and also receive. Ache.